Hello Fox, this is Shorre and you are watching Money Time at Money 9. This show will tell you all the big news of the day that has direct impact on your pockets. So let's begin. Our first news will depict the plight of rural areas. Food prices in rural areas of the country have more than doubled from 3.94% in March 2021 to 8.04% in March 2022. While the average increase in food prices all over the country is also not lagging behind. India's consumer food price inflation has nearly doubled in last one year from 4.87% in March 2021 to 7.68% in March 2022. Retail inflation has now reached 17-month high of 6.95%. Now it's time to bring some banking news. The Punjab National Bank has launched cardless cash withdrawal facility for its customers. The customers of the public sector bank will also get access to a plethora of new services on the bank's mobile app PNB One. The pensioners having savings account with the PNB can now apply for instant personal loans on this app. Currently, there are only two ways to withdraw ATM cash without the use of plastic money. One is through UPI and other is by using the OTP method. Next news will impact your travel. Within just last 8 days, the Mahanagar Gas Limited has increased the CNG and PNG prices in Mumbai and adjoining areas twice. The city gas distribution firm has increased CNG prices by 12 rupees per kg and PNG prices by 9.5 rupees per SCM. CNG will now be retailed at 72 rupees per kg in Mumbai, while PNG will be available at 45.5 rupees per SCM in the commercial capital of the country. While CNG is available at 69.11 rupees per kg in New Delhi and PNG is available at 41.61 rupees per SCM in the national capital. Now it's time to get some update on health insurance. An employee benefit survey by insurance distributor Plum Benefits finds 66% of group health insurance policy in the country provide maternity coverage, but the benefit is capped at 50,000 rupees. Maternity benefit in the group health insurance policy is available from day one of the commencement of the policy. The employee benefit survey also states that in private hospitals of tier one towns, parents have to spend 70,000 to 2 lakh rupees if they opt for cesarean surgery. While they will have to spend 45,000 to 55,000 rupees if they opt for normal deliveries. Now let's see what's happening in the stock market. The market continued its downward journey as Sensex fell for the third day in a row to close at 58,339. HDFC, HDFC Bank, Maruti, Dr. Reddy, Asian Paints, Bajaj Finserve, Power Grid and Kotec Bank were among the major laggards. HDFC shed by 2.01% while HDFC Bank fell by 1.9%. Foreign fund outflow to the tune of 3,128.39 crore rupees is said to be the major reason behind this sell-off. The stock market will be closed on Thursday and Friday. If you have invested in Infosys or looking to invest, then listen to this news very carefully. The board of IT sector major Infosys has recommended a final dividend of 16 rupees per share. The dividend will be paid on June 28, 2022. Infosys announced four quarter results of the previous financial year. The IT behemoth clocked net profit of 5,686 crore rupees and revenue of 32,276 crore rupees. The net profit is touted to increase 12% year on year, while revenue increased 22.7% year on year. Now let's come to the news on Hariom Pipe. The shares of Hariom Pipe Industries made its debut at 214 rupees registering a jump of 39.86% against the issue price of 153 rupees. Harium Pipe Industry shares closed at 224.7 rupees on Wednesday. Stockbroking firm GCN Securities has given 6-month price target of 320 rupees with a stop loss of 197 rupees per share. Another broking firm Swastika Investment Limited said that the pipe manufacturing firm follows cost-effective process and experience management team. The broking firm further said that because of cyclical nature of the industry, only aggressive investors with long-term horizon should invest in this company. Well, that's it for today. We'll meet you tomorrow.